Hello everyone, my name is Ned Finn. Uh, welcome back to the stream. It's a Monday stream, which was originally going to be just like the normal, like in place of the Tuesday stream, but today might actually end up being like a bonus stream and there might still be a stream on Tuesday, which would, which is to say tomorrow. I don't know. But in any event, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to The Sims 4 and uh, welcome back to the Scoop Legacy challenge let's just jump right on into it folks shall we because we're having some fun uh today's stream is titled college prep uh because i guess we're gonna focus on getting uh twig ready for uh you know the discover university content which i'm super excited for because I've, I've barely i've i've not touched that stuff m much um we're going to find out how it all works eventually. Probably not today. Maybe not even on the next stream. But at the very least, the stream after next should see us in college. Uh, which is super duper exciting. Hello, Born Loser. It is good to see you in chat as per usual. Boyd has found a lemon in the dumpster. All exciting things happening. Um, it's like our... Uh, mosquito traps can be evolved. Always very exciting. Um, is our stuff ready for harvesting yet? No, it's still growing. Does it need water? Does not need water, apparently. Oh, well. Um, da -da 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 -da. What is Twig doing right now? She's back from her uh, brief romantic dalliance over at Tane's house. Hello, Anonymous. Good to see you in chat as well. Um... Twig, how are your stats doing? You're sleepy. You're taking a nap. Oh. See, I, I would tell her to go and get a freaking snack of some kind, but that's going to wake her up because the Sims 4 uh, Sims are not necessarily smarter as, as you would want them to be. <clears throat> Regardless. Uh, you know. Now, everyone's napping right now. We got Boyd napping. We got Twig napping. We've got um, Alice and Zoe having themselves a little chit chat. Always nice to see. <sighs> um, let's see here. I think this is probably going to be another fairly twig centric uh, stream. We'll have to see. Um, all right, she, her energy is in the green now, which is good. So twig, go ahead and grab some leftovers. Leftover birthday cake. That burger, that cheeseburger birthday cake. Um, ooh, Zoe found a muffin in the dumpster. How nice. Uh, as has previously been mentioned, she most certainly is uh, her father's daughter. If Twig didn't do this painting, then who did? Is Alice, is this your doing? It is. You're not supposed to frickin... Bah. Alice, you're not supposed to use Twig's easel. It's hers. I wish you could designate ownership of an easel. All that is a very lovely. Ah, that is a very lovely uh, picture. What's the value of this? Excellent quality, lovely. I'm gonna put that where a window would otherwise be. Gonna frame it, and now we're gonna send Twig to work on painting of her own um do a pop art painting i guess why not large pop art painting sounds good alice you work on now hold on did twig start this oh gosh everyone's using each other's easels this is how you spread cooties <laughs> i was about to say this is how you spread uh, coronavirus but that's you know too soon guys come on you can start making jokes like a little while after that. That is... Twig, you are better than that. The painting that you started working on over here, I think, is indicative of the fact that you're better than that. But apparently it's enough to level up your skills, so what the fuck do I know? You know, Alice is... is uh, if, if Alice hasn't mastered the painting skill, she's got to be close to it. Yeah, she's at level 10. She is as good a painter as you can get. Um, now let's resume this classic painting over here. Uh, 
But apparently that's worth $250 nearly, so what the fuck do I know? It doesn't look terribly impressive to me. But that's just... Well, neither does... I mean, this is slightly... This is a slight improvement, but, um, you know. No. The good news is, is, um, Twig's skill uh, continues to double. Now, this looks pretty, like, a promising start to a painting, but for now, uh, did your burger cake not hold you over? Hey, Tane, um, I'd love to hang out, but I'm, like, smelly and hungry and sleepy, so I'm gonna have to, gonna have to decline, but I appreciate the offer. Don't worry, they, they've already exchanged exchanged frickin' uh, promise rings, so, you know. They're, they're, we, we, we got Tane locked down. It's all good. Got our lovely uh, uh, refrigerator-mounted uh, dragon, the dragon dragonfly. $188, not bad. Might as well sell that. <clears throat> Ooh. Let's do a traditional shape for our bonsai tree. I didn't even realize you could do specific shapes for it. Thought you could just, like, tend it. <clears throat> I mean, I, I would assume it has to do with the fact that her, um... Was it flower arranging skill, I think? Is, has gotten nice and high thanks to uh, messing around with the bonsai tree. I don't know. Our peppers are ready to harvest. Let's do that. What's up, Papa Scoop? How's it hanging, old man Boyd? I don't know about y'all, but I, I still think that uh, Boyd cuts a pretty in impressive figure in his fancy gangster suit. Oh. Ow. Hey, uh, Twig, you need to... What is she... Oh, she's supposed to do some scouting stuff. Oops. Oopsie doodle. Um... <clears throat> I think we're just gonna skip scouting practice today. If I'm being honest. Uh, currently volunteering her supervisor. I think well if we're skipping this, are you sure? I mean she's already it's it's literally yeah, the activity is almost over. So no. There you go, Anonymous, indeed. <coughs> and some applesauce. Scoop family is, is like entirely going for bowl breakfasts here. I disapprove of this. Someone should be making like pancakes. Actually, I've been bragging about this to anyone who will frickin' listen. I made, <clears throat> both yesterday morning and this morning, made probably the best bacon I've ever made with my new griddle. I'm a big fan of my new griddle, y'all. I, I can't stop talking about it. And the bacon was so freaking good. <clears throat> and actually, I have more bacon to make uh, this evening because we're making a carbonara and that wants for bacon. I'll have to get that... Uh, a little bit crispier, though, to make sure that it crumbles correctly for the pasta. But yeah, that's 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 my exciting uh, development. Void frickin' fix the thing and then you can go pee. Okay, how does that sound? There you go. <clears throat> Twig desperately needs to get, like, a shower or something. <clears throat> no. 
Go away, McKenna. I don't know how I know you. <clears throat> it's like random people trying to friend you on Facebook back when I even went on Facebook. It's like, who are you? I don't know who you is. <laughs> Make sure that she does her homework. And the good news is, is that, um... Twig is developing, like, well, some of her, I mean, it's, it's mostly just painting, um, but, you know, that's, that ain't nothing, um, I might even send her onto the treadmill, because I know that you can get, like, scholarships and stuff based on, um, having higher skills. Is that Tane? What up, Tane? Good to see you here at fucking Tane the Teen. Um, good to see you here at, like, frickin' 9 p.m. Um, let's, let's brag about our really tiny house. And it's like, he's been here before, obviously, but, like, our house is so small, it's so cool. Aren't you jealous? Don't you want to live here eventually? Or at least on this lot, when we complete our betrothal? She really has to pee. Well, go use the fucking bush then. See if I care. You're already outside. <clears throat> Although, ooh. No, no, no. It's it's too cold to, 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 to get frisky in the bush, as it were. Or that's barely an innuendo. Okay. Hey, Twig, do you have any cooking skill? You most certainly do not. Well, this is as good a time to, as any to start. Um, let's do a garden salad, because you can't burn salad. Let's do a family's, let's do a fucking party size. We'll have leftovers, and that's, healthy leftovers is something this family could desperately use in its life. Plus, that means that there will be enough servings if uh, Tane wants to eat, which is good. Oh, Jeebus. Oh, Jeebus, we got Anonymous coming in with the puns, with the good puns. And no, I wouldn't say that she's tainted. It implies association with, with her good friend Tane Nagata uh, is a bad thing. And I don't think it is. Oh. Cooking level three. Look at that. From one meal. She's oh, they have a sentiment. Sentiments about Zoe. Sentiments about Tane. Deeply connected. Close sentiment. Twig is a powerful bond with Tane that is a source of strength and comfort. That is phenomenal news. Much better than the weird um than, like, the weird relationship sentiments that Boyd and Alice had for a hot minute there. I'd love to see, like, where all the sentiments are listed. Is that going to be in, like, the Sim panel? Maybe? Random ghost of some dude named Ezekiel? Cool. Um, da 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 Oh, there's an adoring sentiment betwixt the two of them. Alice just wants the best for Boyd and thinks he is so wonderful. That is delightful. We love to see it, folks. <clears throat> Someone left some cake out, which I'm just going to throw away because I don't care. This freaking thing again is a damn masterpiece. See if I mind... Hey, Tweeg, could you sell this for us and also finish this? How's your... And then you can go to sleep, yeah? Yes, I know it's a masterpiece. Those things are coming out of the frickin' taps these days.
Hey, look at that. Twig is actually producing something that looks okay. It looks like a Bob Ross, but it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh no. Boy is having a bit of trouble with those chopsticks. What, why is... Okay. And under what... I don't know where Boyd got this weird tofu dish, but whatever. A spicy tofu dish, apparently. Yeah, I know you're getting sleepy. Just just go... Like, do like Sam Jackson says and go the fuck to sleep. Can, come on. I believe in your ability to do this, Twig. Thank you. Are we actually going to get everyone in bed at the same time? Boyd doesn't really need to sleep, but he can freaking get him there anyway. You know, he, here's something that I've noticed that I don't think that The Sims 4 has, and it's rather tragic. Like, in The Sims 3, when you had two Sims that were romantically paired in the same bed, they would, like, cuddle each other. And it was a very nice thing. And I just don't think that happens in... Um, I also don't think that Sims, like, change the so the side that they're sleeping on. Like, not the side of the bed, but, like, their their physiological side. Like, some, like Sims would, like, <laughs> like, turn over in bed and sleep on their other side. And I don't think that they do that in The Sims 4. It's not a huge thing, but, you know. It's these little details that you miss when they're not there. That's that's just me being crotchety about The Sims 3 again. A game that, by my own admission, is kind of, like, runs a little bit too chunkily for me these days. Oh, we've got more harvest. Hey, Alice, what you doing? You're eating? That's cool. Eating some peas, watching some TV. We literally have, like, leftovers, like, healthy leftovers in the, uh, in the fridge. But whatever. Um, take a brisk shower and then, um, uh, work out. And Twig, once she's done, she can do the harvesting, actually. Which, yes, I know it takes her more time, but it's, it's important skill development. And we might as well do it while we still have the, uh, the, the tiny house, right? That's my thinking. The principal is calling, okay. <sighs> Today the principal is visiting Zoe's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not to interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with... Oh, this is Zoe. Right, okay. Why is... Oh, gosh, why is Twig not in school? Ugh. Um, Just, just fucking, just ignore it. It's fine. Twig, go to school. Like, missing scouts, not that big a deal. Missing school, very bad. Okay. Go to school. <laughs> What's going on? Why is this an issue? Hold on. Think this should reset things properly? I don't know. Hopefully, this will solve the issue. Just a quick, uh, quick lot reset, maybe? Hmm? It's honestly hard to say for sure. But this, this sort of thing tends to resolve the issue. Why does she keep trying to frickin' sleep? Just go... Okay. There we go! She's off to school! Good, you know. It's only... Hour, uh... Two hours and 45 minutes late. It'll be fine. Um, okay. Alice, you go ahead and pay our bills, and then 
collect the harvest that we need to pay the bills. Once you're done being the fucking bionic woman over here. Go take care of that. And then have some frickin' leftover salad. Or some leftover turkey, for that matter. Boy, we have a leak in the bathroom again. Could you, oh, shit, I meant to repair that. Oh, well. We literally have over 50,000 simoleons in the bank. It's fine. We can afford the 200 to replace the toilet. It's cool. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, right, yeah, yeah, we gotta sell the, uh... Gosh, boy, he always has so much weird food in his pocket, and I don't know why. He has robot salvage parts in his inventory, which is, uh, for some unknowable reason. Glow orbs... We're doing something on the couch that's weird. I guess it's flirting, but that's, you know. Whatever, man. Sell those mosquito trap seeds, that's fine. Okay. Frickin', if you need to pee, just pee. School's out for the day. So a, a B student, that's fine. Um, a twig is... A twig's moving on up, though, right? You're gonna get that score up to where it needs to be. Not missing school would be a really good way to start that off, huh? Uh, Bummer school day. Oh, Twig looks so sad. Oh, she's happy now. Look at that. Nicely decorated, central heating, that's, you know, it's it's good to, you know, be grateful for things like central heating. What's up, Boyd? Look at Boyd staying in shape even in his elderly age. <laughs> really wish that I could get these two chairs to be the same color. Actually, I might be able to get the, uh... Sofa. I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, that works. I'd like to have them both be the blue. I think the blue looks nicer, but whatever. The 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 armchair only has like three swatches, so fuck it. It's a weird way to hold a conversation here. A twig, you're stinky. Go do something about that. I beg of you. He's doing her schoolwork. That works fine. Is he? No. Because you're asking a child, is he? That's weird. <sighs> How far away from twig aging up? Six days? Well... Uh, about a week. We can get Twig up to an a, an A student in a week. I'm very confident in that fact. I'm super duper confident. Um, voting. We don't need to worry about that because we've disabled that for now. We're gonna we're gonna do all the the good freaking um, eco lifestyle content in due time. Honestly, like Zoe is gonna be a big part of that because she's probably gonna be a maker. Um, doing, like, the, the fabrication stuff. Like, I don't know if we're gonna ever, if Boyd is ever actually gonna use his woodworking bench. Um, especially because it's not even sheltered, right? Yeah, it's just hanging out there. Um, 
It's just a good corner of the house exterior for it to be in. Um, at some point, we need to get another uh, portrait of Twig. Um, for her in her uh, uh, teenage form. Because we've got one of her as a toddler. We've got one of her as a child. So you should definitely get a teen twig at some point. Uh, yes, yes. The pepper plants were uh, sparkling because they, they were ready to evolve. Which is good. Um, is this another damn masterpiece? No, but it's of excellent quality. Uh, so we can sell that. Um, what are we at? Uh, we're at 57,000 simoleons. That's fantastic. Whatever we do eventually, uh, you know, go to upgrade. Go to upgrade our house. We'll, we'll have plenty of money to, uh... To figure out what all we want to do. That is, like, for sure going to be a whole, um, thing. Like, and by that, I mean, it's probably going to be an entire stream. Uh, just to upgrade the, uh, the house into whatever it's going to end up looking like uh, by that time. Twig, could you spray the monster under the bed for your sister, please? It's a good sisterly thing to do. Okay, now that you both... Oh! It's a nice moment. Caught a little bit too late, so it just looked weird. Otherwise, I would have taken a screenshot. Um, now, you got... You cannot possibly wake up... And be ready to start the day at 11.28 p.m. I refuse to allow this to be the case. Go back to sleep. Except, I mean, if you want to pee, that's fine. And then go back to sleep. She doesn't flush the fucking toilet after she's done with it. It's uh, very Boyd-esque, frankly. Um... I forgot about his pink slippers. It's phenomenal. Hmm. Hey, boy, do you want to actually take a uh, take a spin on the old? Uh... Yeah, let's fucking make some some old man furniture that you insist your family use. Okay, so it uses your handiness skill. That's cool. GTK. Okay, so he'll actually be able to produce some pretty high quality stuff. What other kind of furniture can you make? Hold on, let's 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 see this. Um, you can make a wall shelf, wall hangings, mirror, garden pot, garden planter, end tables, dining tables, dining chair. Um, let's make a frickin' wall shelf. Sounds like it'd be easy to, to place somewhere. Alright, Twig is officially out of bed at four in the morning, which is not much better, but it's like an improvement, so I'm not gonna bother, I'm not gonna complain too much. Now, I'm gonna actually have her cook... Um, uh, eggs and toast. Just a single serving for herself, but she's actually going to have, like, something resembling a decent breakfast. Well, 
look at that. Boyd's actually doing some creative stuff for himself. How lovely. I don't actually know where we're going to put this fucking wall shelf. Maybe, you know what? Maybe he made it for, um, for Zoe. I actually like that idea. Just have a random... Oh, this because this isn't our family inventory. Doy. Um... Yeah. Nice handcrafted shelf to put over Zoe's bed. Actually, over the uh, head of her bed, no less. Sounds good. Lovely. I'm curious about, like, this sculpture work he can apparently make, although he definitely needs to pee before we do anything else. Boyd also not flushing the toilet, which means that there's, like, like a, a double layer of pee in this toilet. Just, just pointing that out. Very concerning. <gasps> Our plants have already bloomed again. That's cool. I'll have Alice do that once she wakes up. Um, she's actually going to, well, she should be waking up uh, right about now, actually. Now, she's going to use the toilet. She's actually going to flush it before using it, and then she's going to use it, and then she's going to flush it afterwards because she's a good person. She's going to wash her hands. You know, it was just, it just occurred to me that probably the dirtiest surface in this house is this doorknob because everyone has to open that door after using the bathroom but before washing their hands because we don't have room for a sink in here. Hmm. Deeply concerning. Um, now, Alice, if you wouldn't mind, uh, could you harvest everything? Harvest up all of our stiff. Okay. Now. Fucking. What is Twig doing? She's gonna build a snow pal. Well, we don't have much time for that, but, you know. She's gonna stretch and then she's gonna go to school. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, uh, Twig, while you are at school. Um, let's actually study hard. Change for a stress moodlet, that's fine, reduces fun. Well, we'll have fun when we get back home. Um. But again, we didn't call this episode college prep for nothing, right? I'm gonna frickin'... I'm gonna sell this fucking jerky cube, whatever. Um, and sell our... Jesus, that's... Oh. We should maybe plant more glow orbs because that's a decent amount of money for them. Um, oh, let's see here. Alice is working on another painting. Um, Alice is at gardening level 10. Fantastic. What was that green thumb notification? Um, oh, it's just an achievement. Cool. All right. Um, let us. Three hundred seventy-two dollars is pretty good. Don't get me wrong, but also we're not at a point where we desperately need to be selling each painting, and I do like the idea of um. Of giving Zoe some more stuff to be over her bed. Took me way too long to find the frame canvas option, but it's okay. Actually, speaking of Zoe, when is she gonna age up? She's gonna age up in five days. Ooh, goodness. My OBS by accident. And Twig is gonna age up. Okay, so... Ah, oh, jeebus. So Twig and Zoe are both gonna be aging up on the same day again. So th these two are just gonna be like... Really, until... Um... Until Zoe reaches young adult, they're, like, perpetually going to be, like, not the same age. Or, like, the same, uh, you know what I mean. The same, uh, age category. Same life stage. It's the, the vernacular term for it. But what's going on with you, my dude? Dangerously tired from, uh, strenuous activity. Um... 
Continuous strenuous activity could be fatal right now. Well, Jesus Christ, man, why don't you take a freaking nap, old man scoop? I'd say you could woohoo, but that could also be strenuous activity. I could have said if we're a, uh, a dumpster nap, you know. Um, Twig's friend has studied a bit. No, Twig doesn't need to be jeopardizing her uh, her academics. Oh, it's Winterfest tomorrow. Cool. We'll get to have another visit from good old uh, Mr. Not Santa Claus. Father Winter. Clement Frost. Who, at some point... Even if it's just like... From, it probably with the spare, actually, but we definitely need to, like, seduce and bone Santa at some point. Uh, just because, like, you can get, like, a special winter baby out of that, and I think that that's a fun idea. Oh. That'll probably be the only case. I don't know. It, it might be fun to have, like, an heir who is also the heir to the Santa throne. I don't know. Um, saying it out loud now, I'm skeptical of the idea, but, uh, you know. It's, uh, it's something to think about. Um, Boyd, how are you feeling? Uh, I think that that's from working out. I think. Hey, while Boyd is sleeping, let's save real quick, because I remember the game getting snooty with me the last time I tried to do this. Um, oh, that looks lovely. Um, I think... Actually, Boyd, if you wouldn't mind, just go... Actually, oh, you're really hungry. Yeah, you can sleep for just a moment, because we need to, uh, frame things so that we can get another picture of these fucking pictures. Um, uh, let's see here. Paint from reference. Large painting. We just we just gotta do this one more time, yeah. Capturing just a little bit of the 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 Boyd shaped lump on the bed. Although this is a different bed now, isn't it? Catching some of the differences. Look at that. But we gotta we keep we gotta keep doing this. It's too much fun not to. The Eternal Morcubus. It's, uh, it's a it's a powerful image, frankly. That's right, Simception X Five, or Times Five X Five. What the? F that sounds like a X Men sequel. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is someone in our house? No, it's Alice. She's oh, she's finished with the painting. Fantastic. Look at that. It's magnificent. That's great. We'd love to see it, folks. Oh, come on. Not gonna let me place it on the fucking wall. Well, I guess. I think. I think maybe at long last we uh, we sell this version of the painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that there and have Alice sell that. I mean, I do kind of like the idea of keeping them all as a series, but at the other t on the other hand, it's nice to have more even more money. I don't know. This is all documented on the channel anyway, so, you know. I just like that this continues to be a thing that we do. 
It's uh, pretty great. Look at that. This is some like portal shit right there, man. Big fan. Big fan. Um, we need to get the easel outside and get a portrait of, uh, of Twig at some point. You can do it as a Winterfest gift. Oi. Alice, you can work on your repair skill. What's her repair skill anyway? Or uh, handiness, whatever. Handiness of two. Tane is wondering if you want to go over to his house and hang out. Yes, yes we will. Oh, he's asking Alice? No, you weirdo. Ask Twig. Don't forget to whom you are betrothed, Tane. Jesus, look at frickin' Zoe. What is wrong with this girl? Clean air. She's enjoying the green eco footprint. That's great presents tomorrow from anticipating Winterfest. Um, but she is also filthy. What are we owe knowing in chat? Is it the fact that Tane was was asking Alice over to his house? Because it's it's weird, but I'm, I'm sure that's completely explainable. Twig should start thinking about furthering her education. Take a look at her options by researching universities below or on a computer. Okay. Oh, so we can just... Okay. All right, so this is actually important stuff here, folks. So our, our, our two collegiate options... Well, okay, that's that is fair, anonymous. And yes, born loser. I'm, I'm sure. Maybe, born loser. Maybe, Tane was just trying to ask Alice her blessing to eventually propose to Twig. I don't know. I'm sure it was perfectly innocent, and you people are just making it weird. Anyway, um, so we've got the University of Brightchester, um, which holds nearly a millennium of history, that's a baffling number, um, within its traditional halls of learning, having taught every type of student from royal to unknown, the university prides itself in educating both minds and morals, uh, molding students into well-rounded and upstanding sims ready to enter the world and make a difference. Um, it offers degrees in biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, excuse me, and villainy, Exciting. Um, and offers distinguished degrees in art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, uh, fine art, history, language, and literature. Um, with the organizations being the Brightchester Spirit Corps, uh, Art Society, and the Debate Guild. Duly noted. Anonymous, thank you. That is our headcanon. I appreciate that. And born loser and his 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 weird I, I would argue borderline pornographic imagination can go and sit in a corner and think about what he has done. Now let's read about the Foxbury Institute. <clears throat> Uh, consistently rated as a premier university, Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. The university is always looking for students who dare to dream big. It offers degrees in art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, fine art, history, and language and literature. Okay, so it looks like both universities offer degrees in all subjects, it's just that their their regular degrees and their distinguished degrees are swapped. So, you or the Foxbury Institute uh, offers degrees in biology, computer science, economics, or like distinguished degrees in, in the things that uh, Ubright offers a regular thing in. And then, um, well, I think because didn't we say that um, we wanted uh, Twig to be a botanist eventually? And, um, 
and I think that that's under biology. So maybe Foxbury Institute is actually where we want to be. Um, uh, their organizations are the Foxbury Spirit Squad, uh, Brainiacs, and the Bot Savants, uh, which I assume use like the robotics skill stuff, which we will fuck around with eventually. Probably not this this round of college, but we've got multiple rounds of college to attend to. Don't you worry. Um, but those are our our. Uh, uh, higher education options. Uh, we've got University of Brightchester and the Foxbury Institute, and we will be able to decide uh, which ones we want to do in due time. Yeah, but the the cult is like I don't even know what the psychology thing would uh, would be used for, um, frankly. Um, I am unsure what that degree would pertain to. But um, don't don't worry, y'all. The cult the cult's coming. Cult's coming. And yes. Yes. I mean, she, she is a fey child. Um, she is destined to be a, a, a plantsman. Um, which is my new cool term for botanist. Um... Twig apparently acquired the mischief skill. Good for her. Now I want I want to point out like this is part of the reason why you want to play families in The Sims, right? Um. Uh. Cause like. Like, like, Boyd, you, you start off with, like, an adult sim, right? And they, they come into adulthood as a blank slate. With, like, Twig, she's a teenager, and she's already, like, has all these, like, skills acquired. Like, to some degree or another. She's gonna have frickin' painting probably at level 10 by the time she's an adult. Um, you know, it's, there, it's, it's good to have, like... You know, like, the, the, the subsequent generations can usually, like, accomplish more stuff just because of the nature of, of how these things work. You know, you get what I'm saying. If I can trash these notifications, see if I care. But yeah, it's, it seems like the Foxbury Institute might be what we end up wanting to do. I don't know. We'll have to look. I don't know what the difference between the degrees and the distinguished degrees are, but, you know. Whatever. Presume, assuming that it works the same way that it did in Sims 3, the degree programs in general, that is, is, um... If you have to... Freaking... Alice has to pee, apparently, but she decided to get in the bath first, which is not the, the, the order of operations I would have taken, but whatever. Um... Well, yes, anonymous. That's 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 a good um, that's a good uh, uh, moral of the story to take away. But um, also from a, a purely uh, uh, thinking about it in terms of games mechanics, um, you know that that's that's the benefit of having uh, multiple generations uh, to play with um, because you get to build upon. Uh, the accomplishments of the of the previous uh, generation. Um, I felt like I was going to say something, but I have no recollection whatsoever what it was. Twig, where are you at age-wise? Hmm? Still five days away? Nah. Nah. Hey, look, it's Tane. You've come at a terrible time. All of our needs are, like, really in, well, two of the big ones. I'm going to pee. What's Boyd's done in there? Jesus, Boyd. And then we're gonna say hi to- Where did Tane go? Tane, come back! Fucking... Attempt to seduce him. See if I care. We can invite him to stay the night, which would be a great idea, except for the fact that we've got literally nowhere for him to sleep. Um... Yes. Yes, indeed, Anonymous. We've got a, uh, 
very impressive. Why is Tane wearing like these weird patchwork pants for his uh, cold weather outfit? I've just now noticed that. Um, ask him to be a roommate. Um, let's do a wintry woohoo in the bush. Unless is Tane? He's about to leave. Fuck it. Whatever. Bye, Tane. Good to see you. Let's do. I think we do a date with Tane, like tomorrow, after, I guess after scouting stuff, assuming that's happening tomorrow, which, no, no, I guess it's just on the, uh, the weekends now, I suppose, I guess so, I don't know, um, ah, yes, anonymous, good point, that's a very valid, uh, very valid point, no, don't wash your hands, fucking... Clean this shit with vigor. Oh, Jeebus. Hey, boy, do you want to try to take a crack at fixing this shit, man? Can he not? Oh, fuck it. We'll just replace it. It's fine. I think the chair was in his way and I didn't feel like moving it, so I spent an extra $750. Which is an indication of how, like, good our money situation is now that I'm just like, oh, well, we'll just spend the money. It's fine. Do these need watering? Yes, they do. The boy can't do it. Or, no, do they? Do they need watering or not? The plant does not need water. Okie dokie. I was about to say, her gardening skill is already... Oh, I think she was maybe increasing her charisma skill? By talking to the plants? I don't know. Twig Scoop has identified the guppy, a new type of... What is Twig doing that she, such that she's identifying guppies? If we don't talk about guppies. Hearing the word guppy just makes me want to play more Isaac. <sighs> Which honestly, it's it's a good thing that I played uh, The Sims on stream before Isaac, um, like in in terms of, like the the grander scope of the stream, because otherwise this might be a, an Isaac uh, streaming channel rather than a Sims streaming channel, and that would have been a very different. Uh, very different experience across the board. And I, I, I think for the best, incidentally. Um, I very much think that um, that in the long run, the Sim series as streams is a more uh, rewarding uh, path to take. Um... I'll tell you what, assuming, and this is a big assumption from someone who's done zero research into the issue, um, I thought that the, uh, treadmill had broken for a moment, but apparently not. Those do not look like good, uh, workout shoes. Like, I don't know much about women's footwear, and I'd like to keep it that way, um, but those do not look like workout shoes to me. Those look like flats, and that does not... So, uh, Judging by what my wife has said, to, has had to say about such matters, that's not good. Uh, you don't want to be. It's not good foot support, you know. Um, uh, and yes, yes. Um, but I think it's it's good to have an overarching in-game narrative that we can craft ourselves from from moment to moment. Um, I think if, if ever I need, like, a long-term break from The Sims, by the way, I think the thing that would probably manifest next would be, um, uh, Stellaris, for, for those purposes. Um, because Stellaris is another one of those great, like, emergent narrative-type games. It's very good stuff. Um...
And incidentally, both games will have me uh, fast forwarding through the boring bits to get to the interesting stuff. Although, in, 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 in fairness, in fairness, the difference in, in, in the two games primarily is the fact that the interesting stuff in The Sims 4 is like, ooh, I got a new big TV and it's making everyone happy. The interesting stuff in Stellaris is, ooh, we can now breed xenomorph armies to unleash against the civilian populations of enemy planets. So, you know, the devil's in the details, you know. That's all I'm saying. Oh, good God, Alice. See, the thing is... Oh, Jeebus, Krebus. You didn't sleep at all last night. Oi, oi, oi. How is Twig's academics doing? Average. Average! Grumble, grumble, grumble. Okay, but she's an A student. Okay. Well, that's that's all we need to see. So she has upgraded her uh, her academic performance, which is good. Um, can we call for a sick day? For days of vacation is available. Okay. How do we how do we activate that? Hmm. vacation days which is not really what we're although you know what we don't have to go to school today um because it's a holiday so twig don't nap fucking sleep actually go ahead and get yourself some legit ass sleep um Hello, um, Alif. I want to say Kochak? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, that letter there. But it's good to see you in chat, my friend. What is up with you? I hope you are having a phenomenal day. Uh, at least as good as the one I'm having. If not better. Which would be hard to do because I am streaming The Sims 4 and there are a few things that I enjoy doing more than that. But... You know, we can all try to aspire to these things. <laughs> uh, well, Alice, if you're cold, then frickin' change into your, your cold weather gear, woman. Pepper plants, sell the snapdragons. <sighs> All good stuff. She's just doing random push ups on the ground now. Cool. Good to know. Um, by the way, it's worth mentioning at this point, since we are about midway through the stream, at this point, we're going to be streaming for about another hour. Do we need to decorate, or do we have still have? We still have fucking decorations left over from uh, Harvest Fest. That's that's embarrassing. Um, select holiday decorations. Let's decorate the eaves for Winter Fest. Um, ooh. Oh, I don't know. I guess I guess that. Um, but it's worth mentioning that if you are currently, uh. Watching the stream and uh, enjoying. Uh, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can uh, keep up with... Um, with stuff going on on the channel. It's really... Oh, Jesus. Alice... 
It's about to say, like, you need to get into your, like, winter clothes. Well, clothing, yeah. Take down the decorations and then put up decorations. Look at that. It's perfect. Okay. Good. And we did that without with only killing nearly one person, which you'd think would be one person too many to almost die in the pursuit of uh, holiday decorations. But whatever. That's just me. What do I know? I'm not an exterior decorator. I like how freaking uh, Zoe's in here having potato chips. Uh, Twig's having a ham sandwich, or peanut butter and jelly sandwich, excuse me. Alice is having applesauce, and then Boyd is over here having this, like, plate of delicacies. So one of these things is not like the other. Alice is 16 days away from aging up good twig is now just a mere four good let's 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 see if we can actually get through all of winterfest day um over his house mm, no i don't think so change just because um we've got uh you know our own festivities but if you want to come over here that would be cool um You know what? That's actually a very good point, born loser. But um, it's it is uh, it's validating to see because for God's sake, I set up all these four fucking chairs for these people to actually use them. Um, let us invite Tane over to our place. Actually, let's set up the um, yeah. Let's set up the. Um, Holiday stuff. Um, hold on. Tree. Hey, there we go. I don't know why that's under miscellaneous. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's just another tree. Um, I don't know why it's under miscellaneous lighting, but fuck it. Whatever. I'm not about to complain. Get to light the tree with... Let's light it with Zoe. That's cute. There we go. Now, hold on. Why can I not put... Presence under this tree. I am confused. Does this not count as a holiday tree, damn it? Okay, fine. We'll do this the brute force way. Um, show me seasons. Hold on, why is this tree not, like, next to these trees? Huh? Fuck it. Deleting it, whatever. There, okay, there we go. Maybe that's it. What is this? Ever delightful evergreen holiday tree. Okay. Night holiday spruce. Well, what the fuck was the tree that we just picked up? I'm confoozled. Can we put presents under this tree, or are you going to make me go back and do this whole rigmarole again? Nah. Is it because of the weather? Because if it is, just fucking tell me. Because I'm going to feel like a real boob if it is.
Hey, there we go. Okay, so apparently you can just do this shit with precisely one tree. Whatever. Look at that. We can do, like, frosted tips on the tree. Fine. Okay. Place present pile under the tree. She's super sleepy. This whole family needs to get their shit together when it comes to sleeping. Go and take a nap, Alice, or get some coffee or something. Getting embittered over here, goddammit. This is gonna be like a difficult fucking Winterfest for folks. Hey, look at that. Twig has completed her thing. Um, no. <laughs> Child from my past. You know what? No, Olivia, you can come over. Fine. I'll say hi, but not Eric. Eric is not invited to this house. Um, let us invite over Tane. Yeah? Good friend Tane. Hottie, hottie Tane. I don't know. I can don't... <sighs> It's like super cold out right now. You know what'll be really nice is um when we have a big enough house that we'll actually be able to like hold our festivities for Winterfest indoors. Invite him in. Or belly laugh at him. Fucking see if I care. No hey. <laughs> I can give him a smooch, yeah? We can do a mistletoe kiss. Let's do that. Um... Not friendly romance. Then... Hunt mess around. I have time to do that. They can kiss in the snow. I don't know what that would involve, but let's do that. So apparently it's just a big old impassioned smooch. I guess because it's cold. I don't know. Um, let's light the tree with Tane. Tane! Get out here and help me light the tree! Stop playing fucking Blick Block or whatever. Hey, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Lovely. Um, what else? Can we not open the presents yet? I guess it's not late enough? I don't know. That wouldn't make much sense. Oh, look at that, we can actually decorate it with stuff. Decorate it with tree skirt. Um, you think that we would have done this earlier. Hey, look at that, it's Clement Frost. What's up, my dude? Oh, there we go, there we go. So we, okay, I gotcha. Click on the presents to do the presents, I got it. Thought they were all part of the same object, but it's, it's fine. Whatever. Hey, Father Winter. How's it going? Good to see you. Glad to make your acquaintance. Hey. Can I get a gift? Can I get a present? Depressed. Relationship advice. Um... Can, I guess only kids can ask for presents? That doesn't make a ton of sense. Let's give her a friendly introduction from Zoe. <laughs> Brag about her really tiny house to Santa. Yeah, bye, Olivia. Good. Glad to see you stopping in. I can make a pop culture reference to Santa. 
<laughs> I, I was trying to think of like what's a good like pop culture reference, but there is fucking none because all of pop culture has gone on hiatus because of you know the plague. I don't know. I guess I could make a comment about Wandavision that premiered like a couple days ago. What? What? I beg your pardon. It's almost Boyd's time. Make the most of these final days. What kind of grim ass announcement is that, game? Christ. Boyd's gonna pass away soon into the great beyond. But look at him. He don't care. He's out here playing ping pong with his daughter, whomst he loves. But look at how active this fucker is staying. You gotta. You gotta admire that. I'll tell you, you know, here, here's the thing. Here's time, time to reflect, right? Boyd Scoop has lived a good life. I think we can all agree that. You know, he has two lovely daughters. Um, he has a, a, a lovely wife. Um, a lovely small house. He's, he's retiring on a big-ass pile of money. Um, actually, speaking of which, I can't even remember the last time that Boyd went to work. Um, is he retired? No, he's just... He's got like nine days of vacation. We could probably take all nine of those days and let him just pass away during that without actually having to quit, but fuck it. Hold on a second, daughter of mine. Um, let's call work and retire. Are you sure Boyd should retire? Uh, should he do so, a daily payment will be made each day based on his current hourly pay. Fuck yes. Get that pension, son. The mob is classy like that. Boyd retired as a getaway driver. He will receive a pension check every day based on his salary at the time of retirement. Time to kick back and relax. Hell yes, Boyd. What is he going to do? He's going to shape the bonsai tree into a playful shape. Because he's retired now. He don't have to care. Winterfest was awful, according to Zoe. Oh, no. How is it for everyone else? Um, Winterfest wasn't really up to Boyd's expectations. Um, Winterfest was pretty good, according to Alice. And Winterfest was awesome, according to Twig. That's cool, Twig. Glad to hear you had a good time. Although she got to spend it with, like, like half the day with her boyfriend. So I guess that makes sense. <sighs> Knocked the, uh, knocked the mic with my wedding ring. Y'all could probably hear that, but, you know, whatever. I feel like winter is a, is a rough time for retirement because you can't, like, go and do stuff outside as much. You know. All these, I'll tell you what, something I'm, I'm looking forward to about frickin', um, uh, I was about to say university life, but that's not what it's called anymore. It's a, uh, Discover University, the, 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 the college pack. Um, I'm really looking forward to having just, hopefully, one sim who I can actually get onto, like, a decent sleep schedule, maybe. No, we don't need to use it. Fucking, uh, 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 uh. Repair it and then clean it. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> having this conversation over their poor sleeping father. Hopefully. Hey, did we actually have a tree in storage? We did not. Oh, well. Whatever. Um. Hey, Alice. How are your stats doing? You're doing fine. Uh, harvest all of these things for me, would you? Please and thank you. 
His retirement pay has arrived from being a dedicated getaway driver in the boss career. Uh, 360 has been deposited directly into his household funds. Cool. And $360 is not that much, but it is daily. And it is, um... You know... Uh, chat, how are we feeling about this? I won't embark upon this until I get uh, some feedback from y'all. I think that Boyd becomes a, a writer now that he's retired. Like, he could, like, produce terrible pulp novels. Like, based on his experience as, as a professional criminal. How, how would we feel about that? Because I definitely think that he needs something to occupy his time with. Um, now that he's retired, for sure. And it can't be all making freezer bun or making uh, bonsai trees look like freezer bunnies. As amusing an option as that would be. That's also an option, anonymous. But I, I'm I'm taking that as a. Uh, an endorsement of the uh, writing as a uh, late later life option for Boyd. Hey, look at that! Izzy Fabulous is wanting to hang out. Now this is this is sort of like a reverse of the problem of being a vampire, where it's like, oh, all your you you'd witness all of your friends die where all of our friends are going to witness us die because we don't have aging turned on for the rest of the town because I, I don't want to have to fucking deal with that. Um, Boyd has to pee and he has to eat. Have lunch. Have, I don't know, fucking fish tacos. Why not? Jesus Christ, this thing freaking cannot maintain itself. Why are all of our appliances constantly breaking down? It's very distressing. I don't exactly know what to make of that, but whatever. Classmate Olivia, no! No, no. I was I was about to say I, I had a a, a a a moment of mental lapse. I was like, what if there's like a childhood romance here for me between Zoe and Olivia? And then I remembered they're half sisters, and I was like, oh nope nope, cannot do that. Nah, -uh. we're not going full fucking Targaryen here. No thank you. Yeah, no, I could conceivably upgrade them. Uh, what's, what's, what's the, what would that end up looking like? Upgrade, we could reinforce the door. Uh, fridge will break less often. Maybe. I, I need to, hey, uh, chat, look this up for me. What can you do? Um, to upgrade your handiness skill besides, uh, um, besides just repairing things. Because I know that it's like a skill that you can develop, and you need it for, like, upgrading stuff. But the only stuff that I use it for, or that, that like, I use to upgrade it is, um, like, repairing stuff. I know that you can, uh... Okay, anonymous. Ha ha ha. I, I I lost I lost I lo lost the plot briefly, very briefly, and I shared that with you guys to to share a, a moment of, of of human error. But apparently, that's not fucking allowed. Do a surrealism painting there, uh, twig. Alice, or did you? Yeah, you started this painting, so now you're gonna fucking finish it. Oh. 
Here are upgrade items, woodworking and pumpkin carving. Read a book. Okay. Thank you, uh, Born Loser. I appreciate that. Um, um, well, the, the books could be useful, and the uh, the woodworking is, is a way of, like, actually, like, proactively improving it. So that's, that's good to know. Um... got three days three days before twig levels up or before she levels up before she ages up um we've got like a good 40 minutes left on the stream so we might actually we might have twig ready to roll on college by the end of or like the midpoint honestly of um of what I, I think, what I think I want to be, uh, oh, that's, that is really wild, huh? Um, sell that shit to a collector. Get ourselves a little bit of fame. Well, it's fucking, yeah, we need to sort out this fucking sleep schedule issue for at least someone. Um... Hey, Boyd. Do you want to try to upgrade the uh, toilet there, buddy? Upgrade it at superior flush. This is how often it will clog. I see. So now, how do I get, like, plumbing upgrade parts? I don't know. I'm unsure. I know that, like, those are sometimes generated when you, uh, like, repair stuff. I don't know. Unclear. But whatever. Actually, you know what? You can fabricate that shit. You can fabricate um, upgrade components if, if I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So that might be an option long term um it will do boyd very little good because fabrication is going to be zoe's thing and it's going to be a while since until she can use a freaking fabricator but still um oh, we have more Our stuff is fucking popping off again um look at this shit boyd fix it Mop that up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can buy upgrade components on the computer. I honestly, I've I've not really bothered to do much in the way of um, uh, upgrading stuff. Did not know that you could actually order stuff. You could order that stuff online. Um, purchase medicine. Purchase gifts. Upgrade parts. You totally can. Brand new discover. I've played. Hold on. How long have I fucking put? Five hundred hours. Five hundred hours to to the point exactly. Um, and I'm only just now learning this shit. This is what I like about The Sims, folks. And this is what I like about the 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 Legacy Challenge because it forces you into new um, uh, into new. Uh, you know, avenues of gameplay just to keep yourself interested and you actually find new stuff. Right? Um, but hell yeah. Well, fuck it. We're just gonna upgrade everything. Upgrade all the things. Um, God knows we've got the money for it, so fuck it. We're gonna order like 20 upgrade... 20 of each upgrade parts. Huh? That can't possibly go poorly. Maybe we'll order 10 of each of like the fancy upgrade parts. Maybe 15 of the plumbing. We've got the money, for God's sake. Like, we're all good. We don't need to buy robot salvage parts. Ah, fuck it. We can order... We'll just order 20 of each. It's fine. I don't need to be doing this manually. I could just type the number in, but sunk cost fallacy at this point. Yeah, 5,000 exactly. That's fine. Um, 
It doesn't even put us under 6,000. That's phenomenal. Um, now, will that show up directly in our inventory? Yes, it will. Fantastic. Don't even have to wait for the fucking snail mail. Um, now, we should also be able to, like, rummage for parts in here. We have 45 common upgrade parts. That's cool. Throw it away, Boyd. Putting this over does not matter. Twig's off to school. Zoe's off to school. Hey, Twig. Are you still an A student? You are. Your performance is falling slightly. That's because she hasn't done her homework. Um, just found out that Sims 3, you can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can send your um, uh, dogs off to find stuff. Um, also, if you are a witch... Um, and you have, like, a werewolf friend, you can, or I guess, like, if, if you have a witch sim and a werewolf sim, uh, you can send the werewolf off um, to find, like, potion ingredient components. Um, fun fact, with, if you have the uh, Supernatural pack, which, I born, born Loser, I believe you do. If memory swerves. Um, look at them having a lovely outdoor chat. Why does Alice's outdoor wear have a fucking nose ring? I feel like I've commented on this before and I've just never bothered to fix it, but damn it, I'm gonna fix it now. I'm gonna fucking fix it now. What did I just have? Practice acting? No. Fucking change sim. That's the one. You know, if, if, if I had um, less uh, time constraints on me, I'd even say that, um, like, just to extend the, the stream a little bit and try to get um, Twig aged up uh, by the end of the stream so we can, like, just fucking get right onto the university stuff next stream. But unfortunately, I have to cook dinner. So, um, that's not gonna happen. But. Okay, so Born Loser, that's why you're asking me about world adventures. Um, honestly, I would have picked up, uh, university life before that, but to each his own. And I'm, that's not saying that there's not uh, good stuff to be found in, um... Uh, world adventures because there totally is I thought these two were at school why are they okay so this says that they're at school but uh, they do not appear to be it's almost twig's birthday okay so we're being prompted Yo, we're, we're being prompted to age up Twig. Okay. Chat, sound, sound off if you think we should age up Twig. Because we could do that manually with a birthday cake. And the game has, has prompted us to do so. Um, which does mean... Uh, I do not know why these two are back from school. They shouldn't be. I'm kind of confused. Study hard there, Twig. While you're home, I guess. This is kind of weird. Um, that's that's very for, fair, born loser. Um, okay, Alice, go and have your, uh, your... Some food. Have some leftovers, for God's sake. Um... Okay, we've got Born Loser saying to age her up. Uh, Anonymous, uh, weigh in on this. Um, what's what's your take? Ooh, complete 100 whims across all sims. Lovely. I've not been paying attention to my fucking whims. One iota. I've just been kind of like moving along and not fucking paying attention. That's the problem with like having like a bunch of sims. I say a bunch of sims. Um, okay, we got Anonymous saying, uh, age rep as well. Okay, I'm gonna do this quick harvesting. 
And then we're going to have... Actually, okay, so here's here's what we're going to do, folks. And then we can... Tomorrow, we can jump straight into... Um, Okay, fucking pee then. Jesus. Um, we can jump straight into uh, stuff tomorrow. Okay. Stellar, Twig can surely enjoy the weekend knowing she's one of the top students at Buckingham High. Uh, perhaps she should uh, make some time to do some extra credit assignments just in case. Okay really bizarre. I think I might have confused the game by uh, going into uh, create a sim. Maybe. I don't know. But they just reappeared on my lot. I don't know what to say about that. But, in any event. Um, ah, gotcha. Duly noted, Anonymous. Duly noted. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have Twig. Why not? Uh... Oh, Jesus, she's really hungry. Okay, fucking grab a quick meal. Have a fucking ham and cheese sandwich. See if I care. No, don't do that. Don't eat unbalanced meals. I actually have some real food. At least some real leftover food. Apparently, we still have leftovers from fucking Harvest Fest. Which, which honestly, um, uh, very powerful r slash me IRL energy. Because you just have, like, a fucking Thanksgiving. Uh, she found a bacon-wrapped donut in the dumpster. I wouldn't eat that, Zoe. Fucking get a shower, Chiquita Banana. You're about to... Is the shower... Oh, god damn it. I don't have the time nor the energy to have Boyd fucking fix it. So just take a shower. Then eat your damn sandwich. Eat your PB&J. And then, Twig, what are you doing? Your hygiene needs to get taken care of. Who has the energy right now to fucking do a goddamn cake? It used to be so easy. You would just go into build bot mode and buy a cake there. Ugh. Okay. Cook a cake. It's gonna be a, a chocolate cake. And we're going to use it for both of the girls' birthdays because we've been prompted to do both of them. We're going to figure out um, Twig's college fashion at the beginning of next stream, which is going to be tomorrow. I think my schoolwork is such that I can do that. I just have some reading to do, and that's it, according to the fantastic schedule that my wife made for me, which I cannot overemphasize how valuable that has been to me. But! Yeah, no kidding, Born Loser. It seems that stuff is constantly breaking down. It's possible that I've just not, like, I just need to focus more on getting the fucking repair stuff done. I don't know. Um, it seems that like stuff breaks down regardless of how like high quality it is, which is not, which is not something that was the case in The Sims Three. Like the cheaper stuff would would break down all the time, but like the 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 more high quality stuff, the more expensive stuff, uh, would um, stick around. You know, so I don't know. Okay, twig. Who are you talking to? Age up. Eh? Um, blow candles. And then she's gonna disappear outside to age up. Twig is aged up! Hooray! Yay! Okay. Um, what kind of sim should she be? I feel like... I don't know. Are we thinking bookworm, art lover, geek? She could be a geek. Um, uh, Twig feels like she might be kind of outgoing. She, I mean, family oriented is a very good trait for the heir to have. Um, we could just randomize a trait like, oh, see, she's self-assured. Okay. Um, she could be self-absorbed as well. Mean doesn't feel particularly on brand for Twig. Um... She could be childish like her mother. Um, Green Fiend feels racist. Um, she could just be like a dance machine, which always feels like such a weird trait. 
um, when, uh, you know, there's, like, so many more impactful things. Same thing with, like, neat. Like, it was like, ooh, your your sim is good at cleaning. Or, like, f- or, or like Freegan, which, like, completely changes their whole, like, like approach to life. It's like, or, or you could, you know, just be kind of clumsy. Um... Uh, you know, bear a uh, bear hating trait would be fantastic. Um, um, art lover, a bookworm. Okay, let's especially because we're gonna send, be sending her off to college. Let's do bookworm. It's a good trait to have. She'll enjoy. She'll have more fun reading. Um, uh, and I think um, it improves your writing skill. I believe. Um, at least it did in The Sims 3. Who knows if it does in The Sims 4. The good news is, is that, again, because of the fantastic way that um, The Sims 4 handles its fashion stuff, um, all of the uh, teen clothes just transfer directly over to your adult life stage. Uh, we're going to change up her look for college. Um, I, th- I think maybe pretty substantially. Um, but uh, here's actually... The Chiquita Banana, who I'm really looking forward to. Poor Zoe has been neglected, and she shall be neglected no longer. I have, like, a very... Cl- no vegans, says Born Loser. Duly noted. Um, and But I did not say vegan earlier. I said freegan, which is very different, and it is what Zoe is going to be, hopefully with this trait, for that matter. But I have, like, I have such a clear... Like, picture in my mind as to what um, Zoe's going to be looking like. And it's not whatever she's currently wearing. Um, She's going to be a slob, and she is going to be a freegan. Freegan! So, freegans, these sims reject consumerism and prefer to reduce wasteful spending by any means. They enjoy finding uh, reused or thrown away goods and foods. In fact, they have the best luck at finding high-quality treasures in dumpsters. They may become tense or uncomfortable if they spend too much time earning or spending simoleons. This is why Zoe is the spare, not the heir. This is important. Right? Um, and now we can have her be an, have that. Give her an ambition. Um, which beats life? No. Uh, I think it's in the creativity. Yeah, master maker. Here we go. Um, this sim wants to be an expert at fabrication. I feel good about that. Um, she's creative. She's that's she's taking after her mother a little bit. Um, but you know, oh, we never got a damn it, born loser. You reminded me. We never got a, a portrait of teen, uh, of uh, teenage uh, twig. But that's okay. She looks. She's gonna look very similar as a teenager versus a young adult. It's fine. Um, anyway, uh, teenage doom, romantic travails, sweaty gym shorts, and the hormonal upheavals await. Best buckle up those boots. The ride starts here. Okay. Where are you at? Okay. Um. There she is. Um. Okay. Doki artichokes. We're gonna go into change sim real quick. And now we have we have all like adult level sims or like adult ish sims. Um Taking very much after her um after dear old dad. I know the shirt I want for her, I know the pants I want for her, like I have a very clear a uh, picture in my mind of what uh, of what Zoe Scoop is. Um, it's in freaking. There it is. It's not that exact color, but um, I'm feel I'm I'm thinking boots for her. Like she seems like like one sturdy pair of boots like for life, and that's just like what she owns. Um, There we go. The good hiking boots. Yeah. 
I, the, the hair is good, but I think we could do better. There's actually a hairstyle I had in mind. It's in the short hair category. Here it is. How, how are we feeling about this, chat? Sound off, by all means. Um, Born loser, don't don't fuck with me about create a style. Damn you, or I'll make her bald in retaliation. Um, like honestly, this look, I'm not. I'm actually not a big fan of it. The the mohawk isn't bad, um, especially because Tane is no longer rocking it. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think that this is is good. I think. I think she maybe has like some piercings. Um, I don't mind the thicker eyebrows because um, it's better than her fucking dad's unibrow. Um, that works for now. I, th I think she's gonna get... Can we not do multiple? Okay, that'll work. Okay, I'm 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 doing some some future planning. I think that she eventually has like more piercings than just like a couple, but for now it's fine. Um, in fact, I think I'm just gonna go with the the little nose dot for now. Um, maybe she doesn't have even have an earring. She's like, no, if I'm gonna pierce any part of my face, it's gonna be front and center. Um, she she does look an awful lot like her dad. Um, it's kind of funny, actually. Um, um let's see here. Pants. Uh, same story, different page. Um... See, I feel like that actually matches too too well. I actually really like the the style of the the, the pants that Tane is currently wearing. We're gonna have to change that once we marry him. It'll be fine. Um, there's also this horrifying denim skirt monstrosity, which the whole of the Sims internet had a good time being like, "What the fuck is that?" Um, gonna exit out. At, fuck. What am I thinking? I don't need to exit out because I was in. In change sim mode. Although actually, that does give me an opportunity to do one little itsy bitsy thing that I wanted to do. Um, I'll just free things up just a little bit for me. Um, I guess. I guess. I think that the rest of the stream is probably just going to be uh, getting. Uh, getting Zoe situated because goddamn it, she deserves it. It's there. There's not that much like available for kids for like the kind of look that I had in mind for Zoe versus um. Versus um. Adulthood. Um. I think. I mean, we gave Twig two outfits, so we can at least extend the same courtesy to, uh, that's not bad, actually. I do like the sort of, like, the two-tone look. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, actually, we'll, we'll come back to this. Um, we're actually going to delete that real quick because it's it's a it's a simple thing to uh, reinstate. Um, no, no, no. Uh, bear fight. F Do we fight a bear first? Do we go on vacation, fight a bear, then send her ass off to school? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to think on that. But, um, 
Like, I, I feel like... I feel like Zoe is kind of goblin core. You know? Like, a bunch of, like, weird, chunky rings and shit. You know? Um... Okay, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Um, unfortunately, that's not really what I meant to do. Um, can't see the bracelets though. Hold on, let's. That's fine. Um, ah, 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 ah. Oh. Did not mean to delete the ring. But whatever. Um, there we go. Um, and. That is fine, and then we should be able to... Yeah, that's not... Well, that's like a wedding ring. That's not exactly what we're after. Um, but that's fine. Or is it? Eh, I don't know. It's borderline. I'm going to take it off for now. Um, like there, and then like a chunky purple ring there. That's fine. That's good. Um, uh -huh. I also feel like... Um, Zoe might be kind of, like, a little beefy? I don't know. Like, pow powerful upper arms, you know? Like, a, just, like, a little bit intimidating? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep this top, by the way. I'm just, you know, to see actually what the arms look like. Um, where is my... Yes, here we go. Um... I heard some affection from uh, Anonymous for the black, so we can do that. Um, okay, okay, so we, we seem to have chat consensus. We fight a bear after college, that's fine. Um, we can 100% do that. Um, think formal wear, that I was about to say, formal wear is probably going to be fine. That is not Zoe. That is not remotely Zoe. Let's see literally anything else. I mean, that's an improvement just because it's kind of absurd. Um, fuck it. I don't know, man. None, none of this. None of that. Um, sure. I mean, we're going to put some underwear on her. Eventually, it's it's fine. This is fine. I don't know why she doesn't have her nose piercing. I, I don't appreciate that. Um, gonna be barefoot. That's fine. This is this is as formal as Zoe Scoop gets. Okay. Give my formal nose piercing back. See, she'll put in a gold one. For formal events, specifically. Um, hello, WT in chat. I cannot read those characters. I'm I'm going out of limb and saying Korean, but I'm really not sure. But in any event, I cannot read them. But I appreciate the input in chat nonetheless. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more Sims 4 content from me. Um, athletic is probably fine. Um, uh... Sleep for it. Fuck you. I, I, I keep my nose ring in. It's fine. This is also very much not. Although I do like the idea of like... That's... That could be fine. I don't know. I and mean, that's literally what her sister... You know what? I, I think if, in, in embracing the freaking lifestyle, I think maybe... Uh, Zoe actually does get her sister's hand-me-downs in terms of um, sleepwear, which reminds me um, we need to do something different for uh, Twig sleepwear now, which could just be a big old t-shirt. Um, could just be a towel. It could be this weird alien bullshit. Um, but I don't know. It's probably just like, you know, a t-shirt and uh, some shorts. That's fine. Um, the green is too much green. That's fine. Um. Hmm. 
can't you just let me keep my freaking piercings, game? Don't be like this. Why can't I just copy this shit over? Um, and yes, we finally got some hand-me-downs in the game. Every, you're welcome, chat. I know we've been pushing for that. There's been a powerful hand-me-down contingent. Um, this is not... Like, this game does not seem to understand the look that I'm going for with, uh, with Zoe here. Um, I think... We've got these kind of... Yeah. Or maybe these, but I do like how much more patchwork these look. Maybe just, uh... uh Flip-flops? Yeah. And... Give me options, game. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Um, oh, I like that black and yellow. Let's see here. Pink's a little bit too much for me. The camo is very cool. I think we keep that. Um, and actually, you know what we do for the second iteration of this? We literally have her wear her dad's old, like, camo shirt. I like that. Um, or her, his camo tank top. What we can do for that is, um, because all clothing in The Sims 4 is gender neutral, something I appreciate tremendously. Take a quick drink there. Um, so we can literally just uncheck the feminine tag and we have like every top in the game. Like teen to elder, male and female, both of every style you could possibly want. It's just, we got it. And I appreciate that tremendously. There we go. Yeah, look at it. It's fantastic. We love to see it, folks. We love to see it. <sighs> Um, camo is very good. Um, oh gosh, the, um, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. I, I thought I'd fallen substantially behind, um, chat, but I have not. All is well. Ooh, here, here's a fun question. Chat, it's not a question of whether or not Zoe has tattoos, I think. It's the question of, does she have them like now or does she get them later? Or does she get a lot more later, right? Um, face, no. What is it, skin, body, there we go. Like, what what, what, what are we thinking? I think if we, if we have a tattoo at this point, it's just something simple. Um, and then, like, she expands later. I don't know. Fortunately, uh, University Life included a bunch of, uh... Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, chat. Like, I had, um... Start off with one, get more later. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Like, something simple. Like a cat. Or, um... A little flower doesn't really seem like uh, Zoe's vibe. Oh, where's that little like triangular thing that I found? That was kind of I didn't mind that. There we go. There it is. I'd like I'd like that to be on the fucking wrist though. Is the thing? Gosh, oh the tattooing system in in Sims Four frustrates me to no end. But whatever. Um. But yeah, there we go. Um, good shit. Um, now, he, here's the thing, and honest, I'm not sure. I'm not sure Zoe necessarily goes off to college. Like, and that's not, like, part of that is, is personality-wise, and part of it is I don't know if I'm going to want to do, like, two, like, rounds of college, like, directly back-to-back. -back. Um, that might just be a bit much for the stream. Um, but I don't know. I 
does now here's a th I, I I think yeah I think that she has I don't know so, some kind of neckwear I think is, is a good idea she can have a whistle just a random whistle um, but I, I like the idea of the dog tags just like her father had um, uh, yeah D born losers saying deaf keeper out of college which is, is what I'm inclined to do um, swimwear is kind of whatever um probably not that huh um there's this and a black which is fine um cold weather I'm not feeling that necessarily um I don't know let's just bundle her up in a fucking that's not bad. That's from fucking cool kitchen stuff of all things. Ooh, I like that jacket. Oh, but I think I think that that I might use that jacket for her sister though. That feels very uh, collegiate. Sweater's not bad, but I'm also pretty sure it's okay. Let's let's switch back to the fucking feminine shit so we can actually figure out what's going on. Ah. Um, style no fashion choice feminine. And then, like, you know, pants also is important. We could wear a different version of this jacket setup. That's not bad, actually. That looks different enough from her everyday wear. Now, actually, um, that looks fine. Um, another, a third option for her uh, summer wear, because apparently we just can't stop. Um... I do kind of like, I like the, the over, like the random overalls and then like maybe just, I don't know, maybe even like, I don't know. Uh, I like it more in concept than in, in practice. That should be, this should be fine. Okay. This should be fine. Should we, should we do another? I think that she deserves another frickin', um, uh, nope, we don't need to get rid of the pants. Um, I think that she deserves a third, uh, everyday wear just because, like, we've, uh, poor Zoe has gone neglected for too long, y'all. It, it stops here. Um, with, like, three minutes left on the stream, um... That's just weird. Um, I don't know what to make of that. Um, we could go for the double denim look, which is not terrible, honestly. Are there is there a better option for these shoes that we could? There is a better, much better brown. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to do, go through and do that manually, but that's okay. We don't mind. We're doing this for Zoe, folks. Okay, that was relatively painless. Okay, team, we break. Um, could always put her in a tux. That's a fair option. Um, in her father's old tuxedo. Um, but yeah. Okay. I think we're done for the stream. Um, this is good. We'll be able to jump straight into university stuff, uh, tomorrow... And, uh, yeah, we'll have fun. It'll be a good, it'll be a lovely time. But in the meantime, uh, everyone, thank you all very much. Uh, this, this ended up being a more eventful stream than I necessarily anticipated. We got to do something that I had been meaning to do for a while, or, you know, been looking forward to, which is actually, like, sort of defining Zoe's look. Zoe looks so good now. Or I, I, I so wish that I could send these both of these girls off to college at the same time, but you know, again, I don't think it's necessarily Zoe's scene, um, and we probably want to we want to have a little bit of a break. Um, also, before I forget, we're going to go into the game options. We're going to turn off automatic aging for Sims. I'm going to give myself. Yeah, that's right, anonymous. We're doing a stream tomorrow as well. Fuck it. Um, and actually, speaking of which, um, 
on uh, I don't know if Born Losers is going to be available for this. I'm not sure. But um, the first weekend in February, I am being abandoned. My wife is going uh, for a visit back to home, and I will be staying uh, here uh, in our apartment with uh, the boy, the boy being our lovely dachshund Otto. And I might actually do, like, a big long stream on that Saturday. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep you posted about that. It's, again, that's a little ways off. First weekend in February. God knows we've got the fucking inauguration to get through before that. <sighs> Um, but what was I going to do? Um, auto age played Sims. No, uh, we are not going to auto age the Sims for now because I'm going to give myself that treat, that benefit from, uh, from the Sims three where time froze when you went off to college. Um, pending changes. Would I like to commit to them? Yes. Okay. I think... I think that's it. I'm super glad with where things ended off. I'm glad that we've got, like, Zoe aged up sort of figuring out what we're going to do with her life now. Um, uh, but we're, we're going to pick all of that up um, tomorrow. Everyone, thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, I am Ned Finn, and goodbye.